Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I wash and restyle my thrifted Ghouls Alive Frankie Stein doll and how I managed this without destroying her. First of all, she didn't even make any sounds anymore in the first place, so I unscrewed her to check what is happening inside her battery compartments. It turns out that the button batteries leaked a little bit, so I grabbed some vinegar essence and filled it up in this tiny application bottle and put it everywhere inside the compartment where I spotted the leakage. It was not much, so I could easily get the contacts clean again. I took some paper towel to dry everything up and off camera I also cleaned the contacts again with some isopropanol to neutralize the vinegar. I needed to be careful to not use too much so the fluid wouldn't flow inside the doll. Yeah, after this has been cleaned, I could easily put in some new batteries and try if the doll still works. Okay, now that I knew that she still works fine, I took the batteries out again for the now upcoming cleaning and washing process. It is a little bit safer for the mechanic if you take the batteries out if there might come any water inside by accident. Let's have a closer look at her head. As you can see, she has openings, slits and holes inside her head kind of everywhere. The biggest holes are at the back of her head, where the speakers are hidden and her hair is rooted inside a very hard plastic piece that looks like a skull plate that has been attached to the rest of the head. So, since I want to wash her hair, I want to protect her head holes as best as possible. By holding her upside down, I can have a better look at where the skull plate slit is and where the holes are. And then I'm starting to wrap her completely in some cling film. <laughs> I tape it down as close to her headline as possible with scotch tape. You need to be sure that her head is not oily, um, otherwise the scotch tape will not stick to her head. Um, if so, you can just wipe away the oil residue with some disinfection wipes and wipe it dry after that. So, if you got all around with the tape, you just flip the cling film down to her body and then you put another round of scotch tape all around and as close to the roots as possible. And if possible, with no gaps between the tape stripes. As soon as this is done, you can wrap her body completely inside the cling film. Since she has an open breast cage and battery compacts in her legs, it would be the best if no water gets anywhere near there at all. Thank you. 
So, now that she looks like she followed Gollum, Frodo and Sam on their way to get rid of the ring that rules them all, she is ready to be taken to the bathroom. As mentioned before, her hair is rooted. That means that water could flow inside her head extremely easily. With the normal monster high dolls that is no problem, but since this one has electronic stuff inside her head, we really don't want to get any water inside as good as possible. So I hold her upside down the whole time I wash her hair. Additionally to that, I am as careful as possible with the flowing water that it won't touch her skull as less as possible. This is quite challenging, so take your time if you try this as well. Um, to clean her hair, I just use regular hand washing soap and to make her hair shine and smooth, I use some random hair conditioner that I use for myself as well. Um, to get rid of any knots, I brush through her hair while the conditioner is still inside her hair. And to brush her, I use just a regular Monster High hairbrush. And of course, even while brushing, I make sure that I always keep her upside down. If there's some hair loss, make sure you take everything to the bin and not let it get into the sink, even it might seem to be not that much. After that, you can just rinse the conditioner out carefully. Don't forget to really keep her upside down the entire time. I know the urge is high to brush her hair the right way, but trust me, it will turn out fine in the end. And now she needs to dry, upside down, <laughs> still in her cocoon cling film suit. The next day her hair was dry and smooth and silky. I could have kept it straight like it is now since Frankie uses to keep her hair straight most of the time as far as I know but I thought this would look kind of boring. So while I brushed through her hair again I wanted to give her just a slightly curl. Um, a little bit of a wavy moment so I decided that I would put her hair into some curlers. Okay so with this situation we have created another difficulty level. The curlers are all around her head so I needed to be even more careful to not get the water inside her head. In the bowl in the front there is very hot water, almost boiling. I dunk her curled hair inside but not completely to the roots. So the hair that is close to the skull can soak the water while I twist her around. That way it wouldn't flow inside the head while I twist the doll around. Um, besides that I also continue to hold her upside down of course. Another day has passed so I could take out her curlers now. I wanted her curls to be a little looser so I ran my fingers through them to separate and unravel them until I liked how they turned out. Then I was finally able to free her from her clingfilm cocoon.
So, her hair is nice and fine and clean, but not her body yet. So I took some disinfection wipes and got all over her. You need to be sure if you do this as well that there is no acetone inside your cleaning wipes at all. Otherwise you could accidentally wipe her face and her scars off. But disinfection wipes um, don't usually contain acetone, though it should be fine. But you need to wipe her again with a moist cloth afterwards to get rid of the disinfection residue and of course of the dirt that has been on the doll. I washed and cleaned her clothes and shoes off camera. Unfortunately, I just own one of her original shoes. I have another pair of another Frankie Stein doll left over, but I think that they don't fit the outfit the best. Since there are some black accents in her clothing, I thought that these black boots would fit, so I decided to go with these. But before I put Frankie back on, I test her for her function again. Yes, she still works fine. 